While you may have needed an expensive computer to edit videos a few years ago, now you can make high quality content straight from your phone. There are a ton of apps available on the App Store where you can edit and create beautiful videos. The problem is that not all apps are created equally. Some apps promise a ton of features and end up under delivering, while other apps you might spend hours on and edit the perfect video, but when you go and hit that export button, the final product ends up looking like this. But I've done all the research and in this video, I'm going to be going over the top five Five best free video editing apps for iPhone and iPad. I'm going to be going over the features, pros, and cons of each of the video editing apps. And by the end of this video, hopefully you're going to know which video editor is perfect for you. So with that being said, let's get started. Now, in order to keep things fair, I also set out a list of criteria that all of these apps must meet in order to be on this list. First of all, none of these apps can have any sort of watermark when you export the video. Second, all of these apps need all of the basic editing functionality that comes with a video editor. So you have to be able to actually add the clips, cut them up, add text and export it all within the free version. And finally, not everyone has the latest and greatest device. So I'm going to be testing up to two generations prior to the latest one, which in this case is the iPhone XR. And all of the apps have to be able to work flawlessly on these previous gen devices as well. Now, without further Further ado, and in no particular order, the first app on the list is Adobe Premiere Pro Rush. And I really like Adobe Premiere Pro Rush because in my opinion, it has some of the best multi-layer editing available. A lot of the apps on this list don't even have multi-layer editing, but the, from the ones that do, this one does it the best and it makes it really easy to manage different layers and edit really high quality content in such a small package. Now within the free version of Adobe Premiere Pro Rush, you get access to all the features you really need. You can add your clips, cut them, split them, add some of effects, add text, as well as all of the sound effects that you need. Now within the free version, there are a couple of limitations. I believe that you can't export videos in 4K. The highest you can do is 1080p 60fps, and you don't get access to all of the editing effects, but you can still do all of the basic ones. And if you are a paying Adobe Creative Cloud customer, you do get access to the premium version of this app for free as well, which is something else to keep in mind. But all in all, whether you're a Creative Cloud subscriber or not, this is a great option if you want an app that's really good at multi-layer editing and has all of the features that you need, as long as you don't need to export videos in 4K. Next up on the list is Video Leap. And in my opinion, Video Leap is the easiest app to use on this list. And it's also one of the best apps for making videos that are simple and great for social media platforms such as TikTok. One of the reasons this app is really easy to use is because the user interface is super simple, but you can export videos all the way up to 4K in 60 FPS for free. Once again, you get all of the standard features such as being able to cut clips, add text, as well as music, as well as some quirky features such as being able to add stickers, but there are some limitations on the features with the free version. So within the free version, you can't actually add adjustments and tones to your video clips, but that's very minor compared to everything else that the free version gives you. Now, Video Leap also has multi-layer editing, but it's not the best in its class. So I would say this is the best app if you want something that's really easy to use, as well as if you're planning to make videos for platforms such as TikTok, and all you need to do is put some clips together, add some music, text, maybe a voiceover, and then just call it. Now, before we move on to the next video editor on this list, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Skillshare, which is the sponsor of this video. Skillshare is an online education platform where you can take as many courses as you want for a monthly or annual fee. It's a great resource for new and expert creators because there's courses on every topic imaginable, whether it's color correcting, making YouTube videos, graphic design, or even learning the psychology of filmmaking, there is something available for everyone. And with Skillshare, you can take as many of these courses as you want at the same time without paying anything extra. And you can access these courses both on your computer and your mobile devices. Now, as you guys may know, one course I've been really into is a course on video storytelling and the psychology behind engaging content and how you can apply those principles on YouTube. And it's made by the editor of Yes Theory. So it's been a super cool course to follow and I've been learning a ton. And if you guys are interested, the first 1000 people to click the link down below in the description will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership, so make sure you check that out. Now, the third app is probably one that you've heard of before because it's made by Apple and it's iMovie. Now, because iMovie is made by Apple and is available for free, you get access to all of the features within the free version and you can export videos all the way up to 4K and 60 FPS. And I would say that this is also the best optimized app 
for the iPad as well, partially because it's made by Apple. However, the kicker is when I say that everything is available for free, everything isn't necessarily a lot. While you can make all the edits you need to, there isn't as many features and content available that you can actually put into your videos. So first of all, iMovie has single layer editing, which is fine for most people, and it can only be time consuming if you have to make a lot of cuts. But other than that, there's also not that many like effects and soundtracks and types of text that you can add to your clips. So you are limited in that sense. However, I would say that iMovie is the best app if you're looking for a simple video editor to make content that you're going to be either making for school or sharing with your friends and family because it does have everything you need. And there's also a lot of really cool themes available that you can use to make projects really quickly. And then you can make some really memorable content as well. Next up on the list is Splice. And I would say Splice is the best free video editing app if you're looking for the perfect balance between an app that has a lot of features as well as an app that is fairly easy to use. Personally, I was a huge fan of the way the app actually lays out all of your projects. And I think it's the most efficient app when it comes to setting up a project and being able to access your files. You can really easily add the clips you need, set the ratio. And once all of that is set up, it makes it a lot simpler to add text and other effects. And once you're in the actual editor, it becomes really easy to cut your clips and put them together as well as add text and other elements. And the only kicker here is that in the free version, you can't access any of their music or effects. And the final app on this list is GoPro Quick. And GoPro Quick, in my opinion, is the most fun editor, partially because it's made for footage that is taken by you know, their action cams, but there's a lot of features that this application packs. You can export videos in up to 1080p 60fps, and it has all of the basic features you need, such as being able to add text and cut your clips, but there's also a ton of fun features, such as being able to add stickers, speed up or slow down your clips, or access their royalty-free music library. And on top of that, there's also a ton of different themes that you can use to make really fun clips that you can share with your friends and family. So what I would say with GoPro Quick is that it has the features you need to make YouTube videos and be used as a basic editor. But this app really, really shines when you're creating content for yourself and you're using their packages and themes to create a piece of art that is very personal to you with all of the other elements as well. But that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Let me know down below in the comments if you want me to make an Android version as well, but that's about it. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.